and welcome to my first video about explaining motion and today we're going to be looking at distance time graphs. So these set of videos go along with the new um, OCR 21st century science um, qualification and we're going to be looking at module P4 which is explaining motion. Um, the first topic on that looks at distance time graphs. So the first thing to establish is what speed is and so speed is a rate of which distance is travelled and so basically it's how quickly um, an object is moved and the two things that determine an object's speed um, the first will be the distance and the second will be the time taken now we have specific units that we use for these usually um, we use meters for distance for time we usually use seconds and for speed we use meters per second and hence that line there that means divide and so you've got the meters divided by the number of seconds now a term that you may come across um, in supplement to this is called velocity and all velocity is is a speed with direction um, and so for instance with speed you could be travelling 70 miles an hour going up the motorway you could be travelling 70 miles an hour um, down the motorway velocity actually gives direction and so you can have positive and negative values for it so if we take a look at our first um, distance time graph and you'll notice that time is always on the x-axis and distance goes up the side and we've kept the units the same so in seconds um, and in meters and so from this we can actually calculate um, the speed um, and essentially the speed in this case is the gradient of the lines if we were to draw a line joining up these points and the gradient how steep the line is is actually the speed um, and so if we go through the calculation here it's moved um, 200 meters so the object has moved 200 meters so going up here and it's done that in 10 seconds and therefore um, the speed will be 20 meters per second now this shows us something slightly different, this shows us um, not just a straight line but it shows us several different um, actions that are happening um, to a certain object and in this case it's a bus moving. Um, so if we actually talk our way through what's happening here um, and so in this first section of this line you can see that in 120 seconds the bus has moved 400 metres and so from that we can actually calculate our speed and so that will be to come up the distance is 400 so it's moved 400 meters the time is 120 and so therefore it's 400 divided by 120 and so it's moving at a rate of 3.33 meters per second at this point here the second point um, from 120 to 240 the distance hasn't changed and so in this case this flat line here means that it's stationary and therefore the distance is moved is not the time is 120 and therefore the speed Nought uh, meters per second. Here, what you can see, this section of the line is actually moving a bit quicker, so the distance has gone up quite markedly. So it's gone from 400 here up to 1200 here, and therefore the distance moved is 800, the time um, 120 seconds, and therefore the speed has doubled from here. Um, so it was 3.33 here, and it's 6.67 here, and you can actually see um, that the steepness of the line has doubled, so the gradient has doubled and therefore the speed has doubled. This section of the line again shows um, the object not moving, um, so it's stationary. Um, this part of the line is exactly the same as this one here and therefore it has the same speed and this is exactly the same as the speed here and therefore this value. What we can summarise from this is a straight line um, going upwards shows a constant speed. A flat line like in this second section here, that shows an object which is stationary. We also know that the steeper the line, the quicker the speed. And um, another thing that we'll come up to look at in the next video, if you have a curved line going upwards, so a curved going up like that, then that would illustrate an object accelerating, which is what we'll look at in the following video.